August 1231 and I had a taste for some sugar cookies and I have sugar cookies in the refrigerator so I'm about to make sugar cookies. Everybody in the house is pretty much asleep. Actually Brayden is fighting asleep right now because I'm about trying to get him to sleep. So I'm about to be extremely quiet but I'm about to make sugar cookies. And I'm also going to show y'all what the elves did tonight after we make sugar cookies at midnight. It's pre-made cookie though, so hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. I also, I want to try to make cookies from scratch for Christmas. I don't like um, any other cookies besides sugar cookies, but I think I'm going to try to get the ingredients to make sugar cookies from scratch with the kids for Christmas Eve. I need to get this stuff like this week though and test it. That way by next week, you know, on the 24th, we had the recipe right in the be. But that's not what we're doing tonight. We're going to make them with the store-bought cookie dough. I have the um, sugar cookies right here. Yeah, I have the sugar cookies. This makes 24. I'm not going to cook all of them. I'll probably make about 12. I'll probably make half, yeah. 10 or 12 and um, save the rest for Christmas Eve in case I don't make the scratch ones or in case the ones from scratch turn out wrong. That's the idea that I had. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. So we have stuff for backup. I actually need to go get another pack of these because they're going to sell out. Um, but yeah, I want to try to make them from scratch though. But I might get lazy. It might turn out nasty. I never made cookies from scratch. So, yeah, but I'm going to keep some of these and then I'll probably pick up another pack when we go to the store. Excuse the scraping on my hand. It's 13 to 17 minutes. I'm going to go preheat the oven to 350. I'm going to actually put it on 400. Because my mom always talks about her oven doesn't get really hot. Hopefully I don't burn them. I don't, I've never made cookies on myself, I don't think. So I'm kind of like panicking. But let's set the, let's set the oven. I may go ask her. But I hate to wake her up about some sugar cookies, but I, I, if I hear her get up, I'm, I might ask her. Um, excuse the grease. We need to wipe this down. Oh, shoot. I think I pushed the wrong bake. Let's do bake. 400. I got to get all of this out before it gets too hot really quick. Okay. So, I got the cookie sheet. I cleaned it off, but I just realized that we don't have baking paper so I may have to see if we got some um Pam I think is what you call it like the baking grease stuff so that the cookies doesn't stick or I might have to butter the pan I'm gonna go ask my mother really quick before I mess something up I asked my grandpa he supposed to be he supposed to be the cook he supposed to be the chef but he told me that I asked my grandpa so that's what I'm gonna do okay so both my grandma and grandpa had told me to oil it with a little bit of just like oil so I was going to use this canola oil but I actually found that we have non-stick parchment paper so I'm going to use this. I should know how to make sure the cookies. And I feel like I do. I feel like I'm just like to use okay, that's enough though. Okay so we got our parchment paper. I already washed my hands too by the way. If you're wondering why I'm doing this at 12 at midnight one is because pretty much everybody is asleep so it's quiet two i don't have to worry about any kids asking me to help and three i just have a really like a really bad craving for them for whatever reason okay so we got the cookies all laid out okay so the cookies are all laid out we're just waiting for the oven to preheat. It was at 3 or something. It's at 3.30 now. Well, it's at 3.05, I believe. But it's at 3.30, so we're going to pop these in when it reach 400 degrees, even though it said 3.50. And we're going to let it cook, it said. 13 to 17 minutes, I think. So I'm going to do 13 and then check on them. But while I wait for the oven to preheat and for these to cook, I'm going to drink a sun kiss orange soda and finish watching at that show sex lives of college to girls or something like that i think i talked about it earlier all of these are missing because of brain <laughs> he was trying to turn them <laughs> these are where all the elves hang out um so again these are the elf mates the ones that encourage them to donate and things like that and then these are the scout elves maria elf only comes on the weekend when she's here so she's not out today this is black panther and this is pork chop this is bluey the clothes and shoes maker this is jacob brennan the cook named after the brand he named it 
um, Samaria and Brand named this one after one of Brayden's favorite TV shows, and Samaria named this elf Rose the Toy Maker. So that's the elves, in case anybody was interested. And then Samaria elf is named her scout elf is named Jojo LOL the elf. I'm gonna show y'all the elf on the shelf in one second. I forgot about that. I'm just trying to put that elves. This is the elf setup. They just got back from a visit with Santa. Santa was pleased with the report of how good Brand and Brayden is, and he sent. Hugs and kisses from the North Pole. Jacob Brendan, a chef, elf made sugar cookies for Santa. He basically said that he worked with Santa to make his favorite treat, sugar cookies, and Santa sent some back for them to taste. And he also encouraged them to donate food. I took them out. They're not hard because I accidentally put my finger in that one. But I think I could have let them brown up a little bit more. Um, but I think they look pretty decent. I'm going to taste it. See how they're not rock solid. So I feel like they shouldn't taste bad. Because I didn't do anything but put them in the oven. But yeah. I'm going to let them cool for like 2 or 3 minutes. I'm actually going to try to like round some of these out with a cup. I lied. I'm not rounding none of them out with a cup. Because I don't feel like dirtying any dishes. <laughs> this. Oh shoot. Okay. So this is what they look like. I just put one over. So. I'm glad I didn't let it cook any longer because that's definitely golden on the bottom. So, like, can y'all see? The edges were getting there, but they probably would have been rock solid or burnt if I would have left them in there longer. I'm going to just go ahead and, and taste it. Look how that just come apart. Like, yeah, it probably don't got a little crunch at the edges like I like. So, it does. It does. They're so good. I've been thinking about these sugar cookies for the past like two hours, but like I bought them probably almost a week ago or earlier this week, and I've been wanting them. So these are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. Watch this one episode. Let my mouth settle a little bit. Brush my teeth. Put my misery on and go to bed. Thank y'all for baking sugar cookies with me at midnight. It's actually 117 now. But thank you for making sugar cookies with me tonight. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. So I have the... Oh shoot. Y'all got y'all looking through the mirror. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me turn it around. Crazy.